The Jaman hunter-gatherers were one of the most distinctive ancient populations of East Asia. Occupying the Japanese archipelago from roughly 14,000 BCE to 300 BCE, they lived in small, sedentary communities, relied heavily on fishing, foraging, and shellfish gathering, and produced some of the world's earliest pottery. The Ainu people of northern Japan, especially Hokkaido, carry the highest proportion of Jaman ancestry of any modern population. Genetic studies consistently show that Ainu people derive 70 to 90 percent of their ancestry from Jaman-related hunter-gatherers. Their phenotypic traits that differ from mainland Japanese, such as higher body hair density and distinctive facial features, are partly linked to this deep Jaman background. In this video, we will explore five Jaman hunter-gatherer genomes. We will use academic tools such as AdmixTools 1 and 2, but also amateur tools such as my trait predictor and mageplot tools, to analyze them. According to G25, the closest modern ethnicities to Jaman hunter-gatherers are the Ida, Agta, and Japanese, all with huge distances. In QPADM, I modeled the Jaman hunter-gatherers as a three-way mixture of Amur River hunter-gatherers, Hoabinians, and the Indus Valley Civilization. Another QPADM model shows 3.6% Iranian Neolithic farmer and 56.1% Andamanese admixture in the Jaman, pointing to definite admixture from the subcontinent. With trait predictor, I13882 is predicted to have medium brown eyes, black hair, lightest brown skin, straight hair, thinner eyebrows, and a snub nose shape. She was predicted to be intermediate between warrior and warrior, to have high odds of autism, be lactose intolerant, have average empathy levels, low odds of autoimmune disease, high odds of obesity, and decisively blood type B. She carried the archaic A1-A1 genotype in TAC1, associated with ADHD and Neanderthal ancestry, unathletic TT genotype in ACTN3s are 577X, no Asian flusher variants in RS671. She also carried 1CYP1A2 asterisk F allele associated with faster metabolism of caffeine, had lower odds of cannabis-induced psychosis based on AKT1 genotypes, and carried two copies of the hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 variant. She carried rare risk variants for Reinfenstein's, spina bifida, and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. She scored high for the odds of hemoglobin E disease, ADHD, bipolar type 2, bipolar type 1, and Alzheimer's. She scored low for the odds of type 2 diabetes, stroke, corneal astigmatism, and POSE. Now let's move on to I13883. He is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, straight hair, and a snub nose shape. He was predicted to be a worrier, to have high odds of autism, be lactose intolerant, have lower levels of empathy, low odds of autoimmune disease, highest homocysteine levels, low odds of obesity, and be decisively blood type O. He carried the rare A1-A2 genotype in TAC1 associated with reduced D2 receptor density and ADHD, TT in ACTN3s are 577X, one copy of the CYP1A2 asterisk F allele, two variants in HLAC that protect against HIV, and one copy of the hunter-gatherer variant in CLTCL1. He carried rare risk variants for lymphoma and glaucoma. He scored particularly high for odds of migraine, epilepsy, cardiovascular issues, and ADHD. He scored particularly low for odds of multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, stroke, baldness, rheumatoid arthritis, and COS. Now let's move on to I13884. She was predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, kinky hair, and snub nose shape. She was predicted to be a worrier, to have high odds of autism, be lactose intolerant, have lower empathy, low odds of autoimmune disease, lower homocysteine levels, intermediate odds of obesity, and likely blood type A or B. She carried HLAA-02 and HLA-DRB1-04 alleles, had CT genotype in ACTN3s are 577X, carried one copy of the CYP1A2-1 F allele, had higher odds of methamphetamine-induced psychosis, carried two copies of the Farmer CLTCL1 variant, and did not carry the East Asian dry earwax variant. She carried rare risk variants for spina bifida and muscular dystrophy. She scored particularly high for odds of AMD, vitiligo, atrial fibrillation, bipolar type 1, and glioma. She scored particularly low for odds of multiple sclerosis, depression, cardiovascular issues, epilepsy, rheumatoid arthritis, and POSE. 
Now let's move on to I-13886. He was predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, wavy hair, thinner eyebrows, and snub nose shape. He was predicted to be a warrior, to have high odds of autism, be lactose intolerant, have higher empathy, high odds of autoimmune disease, intermediate odds of obesity, and decisively belong to blood type A. He carried the archaic A1-A1 genotype in TAC1 associated with a reduced number of D2 receptors and ADHD, likely had photic sneeze reflex, had high odds of methamphetamine-induced psychosis, carried one HLA B27 allele, and carried one copy of the hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 variant. He carried rare risk variants for homocystinuria and spina bifida. He scored particularly high for odds of bipolar 1, ADHD, baldness, AMD, and cataracts. He scored particularly low for odds of hemoglobin E disease, leukemia, atrial fibrillation, type 2 diabetes, and prostate cancer. Now let's move on to I-13887. He was predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, olive skin, straight hair, and a snub nose shape. He was predicted to be a worrier, to have intermediate odds of autism, be lactose intolerant, have higher empathy, high odds of autoimmune disease, high odds of obesity, and likely belong to blood type A, O, or B. He carried the archaic A1-A1 genotype in TAC1 associated with reduced D2 receptor density and elevated odds of ADHD, carried the unathletic TT genotype in ACTN3's R577X, did not have photic sneeze reflex, carried two HLA B27 alleles, and carried one copy of the hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 variant. He carried rare risk variants for muscular dystrophy and spina bifida. He scored particularly high for odds of thyroid cancer, type 1 diabetes, and bipolar type 1, and rheumatoid arthritis. He scored low for odds of COS, AMD, depression, type 2 diabetes, and glioma. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in description.